Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Mr Prepper. Well last time out we did a pretty good job of sorting out Mr Prepper's food woes, because yes, prior to the previous part, Mr Prepper was not really living up to his name in terms of making things to eat. He was very unprepared with kind of meals and things. I think at one point, did we make an emergency soup or something like that? We were very low on food, whatever the case. I think at one point we were snacking on raw blueberries just for something to eat. But now look at this, look at the contents of the fridge. We have ourselves four lovely blueberry smoothies. We've got a leg of meat of some kind, not really sure what it is, but I'm sure it's delicious. We have four big jars of marinated corn. That is absolutely wonderful. And that's very good as well because it lasts for ages. And when you eat this, it fills you up a great deal. It gets that health meter right back up, which is wonderful. Then we've got some lovely kimchi. We do have nine lots of the guarana plant things. I don't know if we can make the energy drinks out of these yet. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if we've got other ingredients that we need to go and get or whatever, sugar or something. I do not know. But yeah, it's worth a look. We might as well use them up if we can. And we have nine bits of corn. So if we want to, if we go and get, you know, salt and glass and stuff, then we could make even more marinated corn, which is wonderful. And of course, let's not forget the fact that we have three mushrooms in the fridge still. These have been here for an awfully long time. I kind of imagine that these are just pushed to the back. They're just pushed to the back. They're behind all these jars of exciting things and smoothies and everything else. They're just sort of at the back, you know, very slowly, very gently going a little bit mouldy and going a little bit kind of gooey and unpleasant. And every time we open the fridge, there's a bit of a waft of unpleasant sort of mouldy mushroom smell. But we just can't bring ourselves to, you know, get in there and get to the back of the fridge and remove the slightly sort of runny, gooey mushrooms and put them in the bin or whatever. So, you know, they'll just stay there. They will just stay there until they go horrible and mouldy because I don't really know what else we can do with them. In fact, is it worth taking them out and putting them into one of the cupboards? And then they will very quickly turn into the sort of, you know, the rotten food and then we can sell it to Jenny. That might actually be worth doing. But yeah, we might actually want to go and do that. Right, also last time as well, yes, we did expand the base. We've got ourselves a little bit of extra base now. And we went to see Joe out in the desert at the junkyard. And he's given us the job of going to get him a piece of foil. So we need to go and sort out the car if we want to go and do this. But we do have a variety of other things as well. I mean, I was hoping to get the Geiger counter from Joe from over in the junkyard, but that wasn't there. But now I'm not sure if it appears if we complete his mission or not. So we're gonna pop over in the day just to see if the Geiger counter is there. That's what we're gonna do. And then possibly we'll go and check what we need to do with the ropeway as well. Can't quite recall what we need for that. I imagine it's just loads and loads of metal. But the big thing that I would like to get done today, I'd like to dig the silo because I think that's something that is long overdue. That's part of Mr. Prepper's yeah, master plan. It's on his board and everything. But uh, yeah, we've not got around to it yet. So I'd like to get that done today, if at all possible. But right now, let's start with getting a bite to eat. So let's have... Let's start, oh, I'm in the agony of choice. Do we go for some lovely kimchi or do we go for some marinated corn? Let's go for the corn. Let's eat one of those. I mean, look at that. That is wonderful. That is very good indeed. And let us then take those mushrooms out and we'll just carry them around. We'll carry them around. They'll just go moldy in our hands. So that's absolutely fine. <laughs> there we go. We've gone to the back of the fridge. We've scraped the mushrooms from the back of the fridge, <laughs> leaving a bit of a, a bit of a, you know, sort of a trail of mushroom slime as we kind of prize them from the back. But there we go. Right, so they can go moldy. That'll get us a little bit of money in the long run. That's very good. Now we are carrying quite a lot of stuff. Right, Mr. Prepper, come over here a second. Pause time. What are we carrying? that's so that's so heavy what have we got loads and loads of rock okay this is all good so let's go over to here because i noticed we do have a bit of the uh, the waste paper nancy are you buying waste paper today yes you are okay do that wonderful you can have that we do need to make some more wardrobes and things for nancy because yeah she pays quite well for those she pays quite well for those right okay so that's that sold and we have some gold as well so let's go to bob's oh Yes, we've got an amethysty thing. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Bob. You have that as well. So trade those things. Just bring the money in. And now we shall go down here and we shall start dismantling the um, these big sort of blobs of rock that we found. And of course, we need these. We need the stone to build the bunker. The, not the bunker. The bunker's built, Penge. The silo is what I meant. The silo. And get that done. He's taking these apart very quick. It's very quick, is that bench at taking apart uh, taking apart stone. And then down here, we could pop in all of this uh, iron ore to melt that down. 
Does that have enough, uh, yeah, I might need a little top up of uh, wood there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And then let's go and top up one generator. There we go. Right, and then let's just pause time for a second again. Right, a lot of people have made a very, very accurate point on the in the comments on the previous video. And I can't believe I really didn't notice this, but loads of people have said, hang on a minute, you've got these really kind of, you know, power hungry, pink sort of growing lamp things. And they look wonderful and well done. You know, they're in and it's very impressive. You've done a good job of getting those in. But why are you leaving these ones up here switched on? Because they're not doing anything. I mean, they look nice. They have a lovely pink glow. It makes it feel very homely, but there's nothing here. They're not doing anything. They're supposed to help plants grow quicker and there are no plants in this bit as it stands right now. So um, yeah, it's a very good point. I'm a little bit you know, embarrassed. That I did not notice that before, but there we go. We can go and sort this out now. So let's just turn that off and then turn that off because we just don't need to be using those at the moment. So these things don't have to power, you know, lights that are not doing anything. Now down here, these are sort of important. We're growing some uh, cucumbers, I believe. But there we go. So that's good. So they're fine. They're fine. Right. I think. Oh, hello. Oh, Harold, we missed you. Oh, boo. I like chatting to Harold. He's nice as Harold. Um, okay, let's go over here. Grab our money. Thank you very much. Uh, remind me what's going on. I can't quite recall what's going on. So... We've got a little while to go until an inspection, but tomorrow the power is going to go off. That is unfortunate, but never mind. Those things are still, uh, the mushrooms are still hanging on. Right, we've got two bits of water. No point uh, carrying that round. So let's just uh, get rid of that whilst we're here. There we go. And um, yeah, now we do have a backpack. Uh, how do we equip things into the backpack? Because yeah, if we could put a bit of food into the backpack as a sort of quick access thing, that would be quite useful. There we go. Right, that's that sorted. So I think we're ready to head on. In fact, do you know what? Let's have a quick nap. We might as well nap whilst we're here. So there we go. Have a quick sleep. And then, which one of these shall we go and have a look at? I think we'll pop back into the desert momentarily just to see if the Geiger counter is now there. Maybe upon our first meeting with Joe, the Geiger counter isn't there. But now we've met him, the Geiger counter is around, possibly? No. Still not there, unfortunately. Yeah, so maybe we need to do his mission thing here first. Maybe we need to actually bring him some um, some foil. Okay, okay, that's fine. What, what materials have we actually got on us right now? We have got 24 metal on us right now. We could repair this car. Why not? Let's repair the car. Let's spend an hour out in the desert fixing up a car. There we go. Hit it with you know, spanners and wrenches and new screwdrivers and things. And there we go. Bit of paint as well, of course. And the car is now looking very good. Okay, so drive. Of course, we need to put some fuel in. So we don't have enough fuel right now. The fuel tank is completely empty. This is a little bit different to how it was in the early access version. A little bit different. Yeah, so it looks like we can only get to, what, one place possibly? But there's no fuel. There's no fuel at all, so we can't do anything with it right now. But that's fine. At least we know the car is now ready. So if we do want to go for a nice deserty drive, we can do. I think we might want to do that sooner rather than later. Okay, how about then? How about we pop back? We're going to have to go home anyway because we can't do anything over here. So if we pop back... In fact, let's pop over to the forest. Pop over to the forest. Just see if we can find any more bits of wood lying around, which would be useful. Oh, actually, trap. Yeah. Go and do this. That will fall apart. Bit of a chicken leg. Nice. And there we go. Bits of wood. Always very handy. So yeah, we'll just have a quick, uh, a quick look around for bits of wood. And then we'll possibly, if we can, maybe head on to see what we need to do to repair the ropeway. Because I can't quite recall. It'll require a lever of some description because they always do. But then I can't quite recall what else it needs. Does it just need metal or is it metal and plastic or something? I can't quite remember, but yeah, let's just uh, go spend a nice afternoon in the woods, picking up bits of wood, gathering some berries, and then, um, and then yes, we'll see what we need to actually fix the ropeway. Okay, so here we are in level three of the forest and there's only been one bit of wood. One bit of wood in an entire forest seems a little bit of a poor turnaround, but never mind. However, we have collected many, many blueberries and we can do lots of things with these. One of the things we could do that I think makes a bit of money, I think we could make some jam because I think we can sell the jam possibly. So we'll have to investigate that. But yeah, loads of blueberries. Right, what do we need to repair this? So we need the lever 
20 metal and 10 plastic. Okay, yeah, we're nowhere near that amount of plastic, I don't think. In fact, we've got no plastic on us right now at all. So nothing at all. Got a little bit of electronics on us. Um, metal, yeah, we can get that. I mean, there's metal sort of uh, ready for us when we go back. But then the lever. I don't think we've got to the point where we can get the lever yet, I don't think. I don't think we've actually gone to find it. So maybe at some point we need to come back and have a little explore on this level of the forest a bit more. Because I kind of feel like we should have found the lever by now. But maybe I've not explored this part of the woods yet. Maybe we've not been through level three properly. However, right now, it is quite late. So have we got any um have we got any bait on us? Have we actually got any bait? No, that's that's unfortunate. Okay, never mind. Right, we'll have to come back and do that as well. Right, so let's head back home for now. And what we might as well do is let's actually pick up some let's just order some bait in right now. Let's go to uh Huntress, just there. And yeah, what do we want? Um let's get rare animals. I mean that might bring in some good money because we might get antlers and things. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get a couple of those just to put into those boxes, that are the traps that are further in. And then, yeah, we had one trap. Oh no, the trap in the sort of the first level of the forest sort of disappeared, didn't it? That came to the end of its uses. So yeah, okay, pick up those. That's absolutely fine. So we'll have that. I don't think we've got anything else that we can uh, that we can sell to anybody. So let's go through to here quick. I'm aware that it is a little bit late. So come through to here. Right, put all of those there. Ah. Yes, we could actually sell something. We could go and sell Jenny the rotten food. Okay, that's probably quite good. However, looking at this, are they going to need some... Yeah, they're going to need some water. Hang on, Mr. Prepper. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go and get some stuff out of here and out of here. That should be enough. Oh, it's going to be late. Right, hang on. First things first, go to sleep. Go to sleep over here. I'm sure those plants will survive until the morning. No power tomorrow. Okay, right. Let's see how our two generators now handle the the goings on in the bunker now that there's no power, but that we've turned the, the two growing lamp things off. Now they're off, I wonder if it's enough. Not quite, but we could be creative with things. Right, hang on a minute. First things first, get food, because we're almost dead. So let's have, let's have a smoothie, because that's nice, and then we'll have some more marinated corn. There we go, everything looking wonderful. Right, come down here then. So power off that light. Ah, right, Harold. Hello, Harold. How are you? What are you going to say? How are you, Mr. Prepper? This morning I took a wrong turn and lost my way. Funny, I must be getting old. No, absolutely not. Right, take that. Thank you. And whilst we're here, Jenny, we've got some um, some mouldy stuff. Do you not accept the mouldy stuff anymore? Oh, I thought she loved the mouldy food. Oh, hang on. Have we got the mouldy food on us? We probably haven't got the mouldy food on us. How, are we holding it? Um, yes. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought that was her thing. I thought she loved the mouldy food. Okay, do you know what? Into the bin with you, mouldy food. Away with you. Okay, that's unfortunate. Right, we need to sort out what we're doing down here. So these lights, right. Power off that light and that light. There we go. Right, that generator is on. That generator is not on. If we load that up, is that enough? Not quite. Okay, okay, right, hang on. What if we power off all of the lights that we don't need? So that light, that light, still not enough. Oh my goodness me. What if we power off that growing lamp? Let's just see if that's enough. Okay, right, hang on. So yeah, we can give these some water. You can have a bit of water. You can have some water. You can have, have we got enough water on us? Do we only have two? No, hang on a minute. There was some water in here, isn't there? Let's do that. Just grab... Um, yeah, split that. Yeah, one on one, obviously. <laughs> Don't know how else you're going to split it. Right, and then down here and water that. That's good. But yeah, if we turn that back on, all the power goes off. Right, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn off things up here. The only thing is we're then going to need to turn them back on again. Right, hang on. Go back and power that back on because that's going to die otherwise. There we go. There we go. So a little bit of sort of creative power usage which lots of people again in the comments said we should do so yeah that's that's actually not that's not too bad that's okay right go and receive that load of stuff there okay what do we need mr prepper remind me remind me what we need for this 50 stone okay what have we got 27 stone right now so still not enough oh, that's on our person though isn't it 20 metal we've got 12 and 10 glass we've got five right now hang on so what have we got over in the 
over in the actual uh, workbench thing. Ah, we have much in the way of materials. Okay, pause time for a second. Hang on, game. So we've got loads of stone. So that is enough stone to actually do the thing. That's enough stone to get the silo dug out. We've only got one bit of glass. So we've only got six bits of glass and 12, hang on a minute, add that in there, 13 bits of metal. So we're going to need some more iron ore. That's fine. We can do that. Or buy, we could buy some metal in. We have got quite a bit of money. And then we can go and put some, some stone into the furnace thing to turn it into glass. So let's go and do that. Let's go and open this up. Pop down here. I like the fact that Mr. Prepper has his sort of uh, headlamp thing on. That's very good. Um, and yeah, we'll put in... Uh, let's put, split that. Separate that into... Let's just have uh, 11. How about that? There you go. So 61... No, hang on. 60 and 12. That'll do. Yeah, so then put that in there and melt that down, please. Turn that into some lovely glass. That's going to be very, very handy indeed. Uh, we might need to recharge that with a bit of wood. And do you know what? We can go straight back up here and we can disassemble that log for some more wood, which is very handy indeed. We will hold that. Thank you. Right, hang on. Pile it up with that. Okay, so that's good. What's that? Oh, textiles. Okay. Then we've got 10 ground as well, plus the 20 ground that we're just carrying around with us. <laughs> Pocketfuls of dirt for Mr. Prepper. Okay. Right, so that's looking good. So now the only thing we're a bit short on is metal. We're a little bit short on the metal. So what we could do is we could pop down into the mine and have a little explore around in the mine. That might be quite a good thing. I think that's going to be quite handy. And, you know, whilst the power's off, we can't do too much else anyway. That makes perfect sense. So let's run over to here, have a quick bit of something to eat. Just eat that for now. That's nice. That gets our sort of uh, health back up. Then go and have a nap, of course, because, you know, it's lunchtime, so you have to have a nice nap, Mr. Prepper. There we go. Mr. Prepper's had his little sleep. So let us head over to the mine, and we'll just see what we can do over here. Okay, on the entrance to the mine, there is a bit of stone just there. We might as well go and pick it up. We might as well just go and grab that. I don't think there's any other stone, but, yeah, it's, it's free. It's free stone. It's just sort of hanging out the wall. So go and grab that. Why not? And then, yeah, let's head down to level three, because also... Also, we are looking for a missing mining pass. So we could have a little explore around. The only thing is, it's a bit cold down here. So yeah, stamina is going to decrease a bit quicker down here. Right, have the diggy machines... I can't remember if we've checked these or not. Nothing in the diggy machines. It's very dark. It's very dark in this bit of the world. This mine level is very, very dark indeed. Right, here we go. Some things to mine. So this might give us uh, iron ore, which we can melt down. It might give us some stone. It gave us some salt. Okay. It gave us lots of salt, and not even some salt, massive loads of it. Okay, so chip away at this rock. Okay, that is some stone and stuff like that. Okay, chip away at this, and there are some bats. We are going to have to fight some bats, but that's fine. Right, kill it, kill the bat, and kill it, kill the bat. Okay, good stuff. Right, head up this way. Now, I appreciate on screen this is going to look very dark as you're watching this, but it's very dark looking at it as well. Can't really see anything much. Right. Normally, these bits are where rats come out. I assume this is going to be no different. No, nothing. Okay, no, that's all fine. Is this where we got... Was that where Bob's jacket was? That might have possibly been where Bob's jacket was. Can't quite recall now. Right, go down a bit then. Let's go down further down. We're looking okay. We're looking okay for time and everything else. Right, more bats over there. Go and grab that stone. Pick that up because we might as well. And then kill you and then kill you. Okay, and then it's downwards. Okay. So now down we go, and down again, is it? Right, I can hear bats. I can hear a bat noise. Right, mine this thing out of the way. Go on, mine that out of the way. Ah, there's a box. There's a box. They're always full of handy things, are the boxes. Right, kill the bats, and kill that bat. Very nice. Mr. Prepper's got his... He's got his eye in today. Normally takes a bit of damage from those, but there we go. He's doing very well. Oh, that is wonderful. Look at all the lovely fuel. Take all of that, please. And of course, our carry capacity is now quite a lot because we read a book that made us able to carry more things. I don't know, resourceful carrying or something. And we've got a backpack. So yeah, we've now improved our carry capacity, which is very good. But still no sign of the um, the missing mining pass. So let's go down again. 
because we can. We're okay. We're okay for time and stuff. It's all looking fine. Health and energy are about half. So yeah, not great, but you're not, you know, you're not struggling at the minute. Right, this is a bit, it's a bit mazy around here, isn't it? Hang on. Up we go. Right, what is over here? Right, bats. Many bats. Right, kill that one. My preparedness is low. Oh, it really is. Oh, crikey. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Yes, that, that's game over. If it gets to zero, I think that's game over. Right, hang on. There's got to be something good over here. And then we're just going to go and craft something or whatever. I don't know. He does love a bit of crafting. So, oh, this is, this is going on for ages. Is there anything we can do right now? Is there anything we can do? Can we, we can't even eat anything. We might, we might have to possibly bail out of this one. Hang on. Come on, Mr. Prepper. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. It's, it's a crikey. This is, this is a long way. We're going to have to bail. We're going to have to bail. Hang on. No, there we go. There's a, there's a box. There is a box. Kill the thick. There we go. Right. Get into this box, Mr. Prepper. Take all the stuff. That is very good. And now leg it back to here. Ooh, that's an interesting view. We've zoomed out to a point where we can sort of see what's going on. Right, Mr. Prepper, get, go go home. Just go home, Mr. Prepper. Oh my goodness me, his preparedness is tumbling. Entrance level, please. Is he going to faint? Is he going to faint? He fainted. Mr. Prepper's fainted. You're unconscious for nine hours and 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. Do we wake up at home, though? Or do we wake up here? I'm not entirely sure. Because it was toward the end of the day anyway, so that's not so bad. That's not so bad. <laughs> okay. Right, our first faint. That's okay. That's okay. Hopefully we come back with all of our stuff because we did pick up quite a lot of useful things. So yeah, we'll have to see. You can get rid of the... Uh, where are we? I could use a snack. Yeah, right. Hang on. Mr. Prepper, it's very early the next morning. Head home. Head home, please. You had a, you had a bad night. You slept in a mine, but that's okay. But your stamina seems to be pretty good. <laughs> so that's impressive. Right, come over here. Eat Marinated Corn and have smoothie. Okay, lovely stuff. Right, now we can come back and we can um, start turning things on again, because that light probably needs to be on, because I can't see what I'm doing down here anymore. There we go. Right, we've got lots and lots of things to disassemble. So some stone, take that stone apart, take that stone apart. Right, so that's that done. And what we need to do is we need to go down here, receive the glass from there, and then, oh, they're going to need, oh, they're ready to harvest. Ah, this is exciting. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Okay, that's good. And then into here, let's put a lot of iron ore. Melt that down, please. That is probably going to be the last stuff that we need. Ah, we need to recharge at least one generator. Okay, that's fine. And then where's a light in here? Mr. Prepper, where's the light? There. Can we turn that light on? Just so we've got a little bit of visibility in there. And... That one as well, if you would be so kind. Splendid. Okay, there we go. Right, so we can sort of see what's going on again. <laughs> That's all very handy. Right, they need a bit of uh, a bit of water. We'll go and get some actual proper water from there. Come back down. Water our lovely cucumbers. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, what can we do with those? What can we do with the cucumbers? Because we have got... We've got nine cucumbers. So I think... I think we can we can make cucumber soup, which sounds very unappealing, but there we go. And we could make ourselves, what can we make? We can make one lot of pickles. We haven't quite got enough cucumbers to make two lots, but do you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Let's make some pickles. That will hopefully make Mr. Prepper feel a bit more prepared. Oh yeah, we've got that. What's that? Beaten up. Rough night, your max preparedness is lowered. Go back to normal after you sleep through the night. Yeah, so we're going to be able to get to here for max preparedness. That's not wonderful. Okay, never mind, never mind. It's done now. Right, pop that in. Um, can we make something with these blueberries then? Can we make something that gives us a bit of money? There was jam, wasn't there? Blueberry jam requires sugar. Okay, but then can we sell it? I'm pretty sure we could sell blueberry jam to somebody. Hang on, let's go and have a look. Is anybody interested in buying blueberry jam? I know we can certainly, um, we can sell, that's kimchi, do you want to buy some jam, pickles, one jar of pickles is 55 monies, I think we might go and sell those pickles possibly, wow, okay, no, maybe we can't do anything with jam, I mean we have got, hang on, that's 48, 48 blueberries, um, why don't we just, why don't we just make, uh, make a couple of smoothies, 
So make two blueberry smoothies out of those, because that's at least something. That's using those up a bit. So into there, pop those back into there. So that tops that up quite nicely. We will take the jar of pickles, because if we can make a massive pile of money off that, we might as well. So come over to here. Gourmet, hello. Would you like a jar of pickles and possibly a bit of salt? Would you like five lots of salt? That's a lot of money right there. Boom. Yeah. Give us the money, please, because that's going to be very, very good. And then, um, yeah, we can go back here. Does Jenny want... Yeah, Jenny buys these things. So how about we just get rid of three cucumbers and then just get rid of as many blueberries as we can get rid of? That's another 28 monies from her. Okay, this is this is tremendous. Oh, there's the rotten food stuff. Oh, she does want it. I just didn't see it last time. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Got some rotten food. <laughs> if it's still here. Is it still here? No, they've took out their trash. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, right. We can't sell the mouldy stuff, which is you know, a bit of a shame. So with a nice pile of money coming in and the fact that we do have $112 already, which is very nice, I think we could treat ourselves to some things. So there is here a phone. We could buy a phone from the Jetsons house and that's going to give us one bit of plastic and some electronics. That's not very much, but at least it's a bit of plastic. Plastic seems quite hard to come by. So how about we do that? And then they've got themselves a couple of carpets. That would be six textiles. That means we can make a bed underground and all that kind of exciting stuff. So I think we pick that up from them. That's going to be very expensive. But there we go. That's sorted. The trust goes up a little bit. Sergey, are you selling anything with plastic in it? No, just some some wooden kind of box things that's fine i mean could we sell you some do you want some earth but loads of earth that we don't really need no i don't think we can sell earth that might be it for selling things right now but yeah that's okay that's okay yeah we could do with some more of these books as well the books could be better i mean that one there would be nice 160 dollars to get the uh, book that brings the prices down that'd be very good but okay there you go we can we can aim for that that's okay we'll try and aim a bit high for that Okay, so yeah, various sort of transactions going on. That's all good. I think what we will do is right now, we will have a nap. And I think our money and stuff is going to be here. So what have we got? There you go. So money coming in and then items as well. Thank you very much. And then, yeah, what do we want to do now? We still are lacking a bit of plastic. Ow, I know what we could do. Let's go and, oh, we need to go and recharge this. That's unfortunate. That should have been done by now. That iron ore should have been sorted. Because I think we're almost ready to dig out the thing. We're almost ready to dig that out. We've got 67 stone. We need 50. 17 glass. I think we needed 10. We need seven more metal. And that's coming now. That's you know, being sort of uh, smelted down at this very moment over here. So in not too long, we will be able to do that. So why don't we just go and just disassemble some stuff whilst we're here? There's a phone there. Take that phone apart. Destroy the phone. There we go. And we will destroy. Let's just get rid of those two carpets whilst we're here. We might as well. We're not doing anything else, really. So there we go. And look, we can make a bed. We can make a bed. This is very exciting. Okay, so we can now go to sleep underground, which is good. That's a good thing. So how about we build ourselves a bed? What does it need? Bit of wood, bit of textiles, or we need some metal. I'd rather keep the metal. I'd rather get the silo done first. Silo, you know, top job number one because we haven't got one of those, whereas we do have a bed and a nice sort of couch thing as well. So that's fine. I think we'll keep that. We'll keep the metal for now and build a bed in a bit. What we could do is, do you know what? Whilst we're not doing anything else, yeah, why don't we just head over to the um, head over to the woods and we'll pop over to level three and we'll just arm our traps with the fancy bait that we've got because why not? We've bought it. We might as well use it. So there we go. Let's quick set that. Very nice. And quick set that as well. What did we need for this? Another 20 metal. Yeah, we still need to get the lever as well, which is going to be somewhere on this level. Okay, well, there we go. That's that sorted. So hopefully those traps will be ready with something nice when we come back. And I think we'll try and come back maybe, I think, tomorrow. I imagine we're going to be building the silo all day. That's going to be a that's going to be a big job. Um, is it worth? Hang on. Let's pop by the junkyard at night time while Joe's there. Let's see if the Geiger counter is there now. Yes, it is. There it is. So the first time you meet him, the Geiger counter isn't there, but now it is. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Bark, bark. Hey, Joe. This Geiger counter here. Do you mind if I borrow it? What? Why? Prepper, tell me. Have you been contaminated? Was there a leak of nuclear fuel? A reactor meltdown? No, wait. We don't have a nuclear power plant around here. 
A mini nuke explosion? Oh, I know. You were abducted by aliens. <laughs> Crikey, calm down, fella. What? No, wait, Joe, please calm down. Nothing happened to me. There's no source of radiation around, not that I know of, at least. Okay, so why do you need a Geiger counter? Uh, it's for a friend. I don't know what he, you know, what he needs it for. See? Maybe he knows stuff. Is he connected to government services? Uh, no, I guess he just wants to check something. Or have it just in case. So, can I take the counter or not? Oh, sure you can. I shall have a spare one around, so it's not a problem. But please, let me know if you get any more info on this. Oh, sure. You'll be the first to know. And thanks. Yes. Excellent. Okay, right. Let's go immediately back home. And we will deliver that to the Minuteman. Because that is important. Uh, no, let's click the right button. That might be quite good. There we go. Minuteman, I've got you this thing. Because that's worth quite a lot of money as well. So there we go. That is splendid. That completes one of our long-standing missions over there. That is wonderful. Okay, really happy to see that done. I'm very happy to see that done. Just thought, hang on. Are we carrying around? What are we carrying around? We're carrying around quite a lot of blueberries that are possibly going to go a bit mouldy. Either we could let them go mouldy and sell them to Jenny, or we could try and make something out of them. I mean, we could always just make as much, as many blueberry smoothies as we can. Yeah, just make four of those. That's fine. That'll pass the time until, until it's time to go to sleep. In fact, might be possibly a little bit late by the time we get there. Yeah, we should go to sleep. Yes, I know. We're not going to faint again. It's not going to happen. There we go. Pop the two remaining ones in the fridge. And over here, have a lovely night's sleep. Over here, on the couch, Mr. Prepper. Okay, we have ourselves some post. And also the newspaper has just plummeted down from the sky. So there is the money. Thank you very much, Minute Man. That's very lovely. Right, hang on. Pick that up as well. Grab the newspaper. Let's go inside. There you go. And then we'll have a read of some things. So firstly, the newspaper. What random thing is going to happen now? Right, out of water at some point. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Oh, two days of out of water. Okay, that's, that is bad. That's, that's not encouraging. One day's all right. One day's okay. Two days without access to water. That's not ideal, is it? We're going to have to be really on the ball with emptying the buckets. Uh, speaking of which, let's go and do that. Let's go and do that. And do you know what? Whilst we're here, let's just go and grab that. Just go and grab some water right now. And these are probably a little bit thirsty. Yes. Go and put some water down here straight away anyway. Splendid. Okay. And then we'll put the rest of it up here. We'll store some of it in here. So there we go. Six bits of water stored already. That's very handy indeed. And um, right, what was the other thing? Oh, yes, it'll be the um, the Minuteman's letter, won't it? So let's have a read of this. So what do you say? Dear Mr. Prepper, thank you very much for the Geiger counter. Now I feel much more prepared. Remember my first gift for you. Have you already started constructing your vehicle? I'm sure you'll handle most of it easily, but keep in mind that since such technology requires impeccable quality of elements, hard to achieve in our do-it-yourself conditions, but fear not. I happen to know about a device which will help you greatly, an AI-based, highly adaptable rocket control module together with a top-notch accelerometer. I know you can find the control module in Fort Observer, an abandoned military base not far from Murakaville. They used to work on sending things to space there. Among other research, I cannot point you to a specific location, unfortunately, but I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Prepper. Yes. Okay, so this is kind of where we got to last time with in the early access version. We got to this point. And we had to go and find a thing. The mission was a weird thing. It was something that we yeah, we could never really find. So, um, ask Joe about the location of Fort Observer. Okay, so go and ask Joe about that. That's fine. Right, food. We need to go and have some food. Kind of forgot to eat in the morning. That's okay. Um, let's have... Let's have that thing. Because that looks like it is going a little bit off. And then we'll have some, uh, some smoothie. That's nice. Right, and then... I think it's time... We're looking pretty good in terms of all of our sort of stats and stuff. Let's go and receive the stuff from here. That's all very good. That thing is empty. That generator's run out of uh, wood. That's fine. That's looking okay for sort of power for now. Here we go. Let's get this done. I think we should have enough materials on us right now. So plenty of stone, plenty of metal, and plenty of glass. Build the silo. We're going to build it here again in the back garden. I don't like building it here because I kind of feel suspicious that yeah, the um, the agent's going to walk this way. The agent's going to go, do, 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 do. I'm walking this way. And then they're going to walk over where it is. They're going to walk over the lid of the silo. So if it's over in the back, 
that's a little bit more discreet, I think. So, yes, we will put it here, please. The only thing is, it doesn't look like he can reach it there. Are we going to have to dig out a little bit just here? He's going to say, I can't reach there. Yeah, he can't reach that bit. So we are going to have to dig a tiny little room. I thought that was enough. I thought it sort of stretched there, but no, that's unfortunate because those rooms could have been made a little bit bigger. Never mind. Never mind. Right. Dig this room out then, Mr. Prepper. Go. Commence digging of this little space. That shouldn't take too long at all. That's dead easy. Yep, yeah, he's got that sorted. All sorted. And I wouldn't mind, actually, if we're doing it. Let's do it properly. Go and do that bit as well. He's doing it from under the ground. <laughs> Very resourceful, Mr. Prepper. Well done. I kind of thought you might go somewhere else. And now it looks like you might have to go and have a bit of a nap before you get on with, you know, the big build. So you go and have a nice sleep. There you go. Go and have a little nap. And then, yes, you can come back and finish this. The big job. Part of your grand master plan. The ultimate plan, indeed. Right. Here we go. Go and build this, Mr. Prepper. It has been long overdue. And down it comes. To be fair, to be fair, he's building this sort of rocket silo thing. Very quickly. He's, he's doing this very speedily, is Mr. Prepper. But there we go. Coming down here, down to a lovely point at the bottom. And now what's next, I wonder? Can't quite recall what's next in the ultimate plan plan. So, boom. Sorted. Red lights are on. This is very exciting. And, okay. Some post has just... Hang on, how did that, how did that get there? It's just magically turned up. Normally, Harold delivers this stuff, but no. Okay. Ah, yes. Here we go. Here we go. We get our exciting things. We've got our first room upgrade, which is very good. So, yes, each of the rooms has this little kind of uh, thing in the corner that you can use to upgrade it. So, put it inside a room upgrade box to upgrade a room. I get it. The number of room upgrade modules required to upgrade a room depends on the room size. Okie doke. So, yes, we picked up, if we go inside quick, we picked up... What did we get? Uh, hang on a minute. Pause time. Pause time for a second. We got ourselves um, a book about underground gardening. Is this book about gardening below the ground level or about hiding from the authorities? Yes. <laughs> okay, so read that. That means we can now make these things. So yeah, we can now make greenhouse rooms, which is very good. That's very, very good. And uh, we've got two greenhouse sort of upgrade things right now. I mean, we're growing stuff in here, so why don't we just go and do this? Let's go and do this. So, Mr. Prepper, down we go. Look at the upgradey thing just here. And we need four of these. So the moment we can put two in, and that's it. So it's got two. Are they held in there? Yeah. So we need a couple more of those. So what do we need? Uh, glass and wood. We can make those. We can make two of those right now. So let's go up to here. And then, do we read that now? Yeah, so craft two more of those, please, Mr. Prepper. Get those done. Oh, is this going to push it? It's going to be very close to midnight. It's going to be... Oh, do you know what? We'll be all right, actually. We'll be okay. We'll get there just before midnight, I suspect. There we go. That's fine. And then back down to here and pop those two things into there. Upgrade this room. I imagine it happens instantly. Yes. And there we go. Yeah, I remember this. This is good. So yeah, the room looks a little bit different. It's got these sort of bars on the wall, which I imagine are some sort of heaters or something like that. And then, yeah, with some reason we put flooring down. Don't really know why. I mean, you know, maybe the floor makes the plants grow more. I don't know. And then, yeah, wooden walls. This makes it feel a little bit more sort of a little bit more sort of like a kind of tiny indoor sort of greenhouse or a sauna, possibly. I mean, it's got bars along it and then wooden walls, maybe a bit like a sauna. But whatever the case, I think that is going to help those plants grow nice and quick. Now, we are going to have to plan a little bit for the agent coming round. I think what we need to do is let's pop some fuel into that barrel because there's no point us carrying that around. And then we've got, is it this one where we put all our books and things? Yes, yeah, so that can now go into there. Because I think we can, I think we can craft those things now without that book. Um, I imagine it's somewhere in here, possibly. Oh, I don't know. There, there we go. There it is. It's just there. So we can craft the greenhouse upgrades. We have got the Minuteman's letter. Might not want to have that hanging around with us. We have got some tuna. Hang on, how much of that are we allowed to carry around? Two. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll have that on our person. Why not? And, yeah, that cookbook shouldn't be in there, should it? We've got waste paper. 
Oh yeah, that's really good. We can sell that. That's a nice bit of money that we can make there. Put the cookbook into there. Then we've got the waste paper. And then I think it's time for us to go to sleep. Okay, so go to sleep. We are going to be very tired in the morning. Now, when is the agent coming round? This is the big question. I can't quite recall when the agent is coming round. Was it five past twelve? I think we'll be all right. I think we'll have a little bit of time. It's not like they're going to come around at seven in the morning or something. So we have got a little bit of time to go and grab some food. Ah, right. That stuff's gone off. That's fine. Okay, so I think eat the corn. Lovely. Everything back up to top. Splendid. However, we are lacking a little bit in food. But if we go to here, what do we need? What can we turn into... We can turn, I mean, four of the chicken legs to turn into a roast turkey, as if by magic. So, yeah, we can't do much with that. Um, and the corn. We've got nine bits of corn. Hang on. It was in there, wasn't it? How many was it? It was three bits. We'd need some water, salt, and glass. We have quite a bit of salt. Oh, no, we haven't got that much salt. We did sell some of the salt, but that's fine. So, I think if we grab a load of water... And then go to here. We could spend a bit of time cooking. Oh, we haven't got the corn. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? Right, separate uh, six and three. So take the six and pop over to here. And now we should be able to do this. Yay, there we go. We can make two lots of that. Splendid. Right, so get on with that, Mr. Prepper. Because, yes, we need to keep on top of the whole food thing. Okay, so that's looking very good. Over to there. Right, put that back in. Lovely. That is, that's good. That's a couple of extra days worth of food there, which is great stuff. Uh, we'll put the tuna in for now. If I know we can carry the tuna around, that can just go in our backpack, can't it? That can just be like a emergency food ration type thingamajig. Right, we are going to need to get rid of our, um, our helmet and stuff. Now, a few people in the comments said, oh yeah, it doesn't, the agent's not bothered about the helmet and the pickaxe. I'd, I'm not entirely sure. I'd rather not take the risk. I, I think we can just, you know, we can we can put them in a box or whatever. It's fine. I kind of feel like we should put them away. <laughs> I think, yeah, if he's looking for us trying to, you know, figure out if we were being nefarious and we stood there with a pickaxe, a backpack and a mining helmet, I think maybe he might suspect something. So that's not great, is it? Right, and... Ah, these are ready. Already, this is excellent stuff. Okay, so grab some more water from here. We've got... Oh, no, we've got three bits of water. It's fine. Water that, water that, water that. Right, we need to go and find out when the agent is coming round. Um, have we got it on us? Is it on our actual person? No. Where oh, where have we put the agent's letter? Have we destroyed the agent's letter? Is it in there? Uh, oh, no, it's there. Okay, so what time? Yeah, five past 12, so not too long. Not too long at all. Go and do some trading. Nancy, do you want some rubbishy paper? Yes, of course you do love rubbishy paper. Okay, and, oh, hang on. Hang on. Jenny, we do have some mouldy stuff, so yeah, get rid of that. We could make 60 money from those cucumbers, but we could turn the cucumbers into actual uh, the stuff, the pickles, and sell that for a bit more. Right, so chuck that back in there. Okay, I think we're ready, except for, of course, cover up the hatch. Oh, hang on. Some of the lights. Power that back on. Yeah, we turned off that light, didn't we? Because, yes, um, we were you know, struggling for power. So I wonder. Yeah, we'll put it back on. So hopefully that'll be fine. Right, have a quick nap just for a few minutes. Just to get the tiniest bit of uh, energy back up. But that's covered up, so it's all fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> In you come. <laughs> you just... <laughs> Make yourself at home. I'll, I'll be just leaning off the edge of the couch in an uncomfortable way. This is standard procedure. I don't think we've got an excess of salt or anything, so I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> Mr. Preffers. Oh, he's, he's up now. There you go. There you go. His feet have gone through a carpet, but it's all good. Um, saving water is an act of responsibility. Yeah, we've got some buckets out the back, but I don't think he cares about two buckets. He's fine with that. Right, okay. That's all good. And he's going to come back down. And I think we'll be fine. I think we will be okay. Uh, I see you are carrying subversive items with you. Am I? What am I carrying that's subversive, Mr. Agent? I mean, yeah, we didn't... Hang on, what? We did a really good inspection. No suspicious items. No essential items lacking. Water's fine. Suspicion level zero. Are you sure we were carrying suspicious items? I don't think we were. And Bob has 
Uh, not Bob. You're not Bob. You're Harold. Harold is kind of frozen. That was a bit weird. Um, okay, Mr. Johnson has woken up in someone else's bed again. Okay, let's take the stuff out of there. And electricity control warning. Okay, what's that about then? Um, heads up. As our great country has some problems with electricity supply, the agency plans to start controlling domestic electricity usage. Keep in mind the high consumption may look suspicious. Take care. Ah, they're now going to start looking at, uh, yes, our electric usage. Okay, take all of that. That is looking very good. And now we can uncover this. Right, what do we have on us that might have been deemed suspicious, but he didn't actually tell us that it was suspicious? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, we are carrying great big armfuls of, of stuff. You know, loads of ground and whatever, but I think that's fine, isn't it? We're carrying... I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't think it was anything important. Okay, never mind. Right, took that away. Put that into there. Okay, right. Things are looking a bit more organised now. And we've also passed our inspection again, which is excellent stuff. Okay, so Mr Prepper is having a little nap. So while he sleeps, let's have a think about what we should do next. I mean, the most obvious thing is this. Just go and talk to Joe. That will then just complete that quest there. Just go and talk to Joe about where Fort Observer is, because that's not difficult at all. So why don't we... Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's go and just get the water from there nice and quick. Go and grab that. Go and grab that. And also, we'll just go and have a quick... Uh, eat a smoothie. There you go. That's good. That's good for sort of uh, health and stuff. Right, and then let's just run down here quick. Just pop that water into storage, because, yes, I think it's not too long until all of our... All of our sort of our water is going to go. So that's quite good. In fact, can we get any more from there? No, not right now. So yes, whilst we're here, and you know, we're not a loose end exactly, but we might as well just go and ask Joe about this place because we can. It's nice and easy. Oh, of course, but he's not here right now. Of course he's not. Let's not go and do this now. <laughs> I forgot he doesn't come out in the day. Oh, Joe. Okay, what should we do now then? I mean, maybe, maybe we should have an explore around the woods. Maybe we should just go and wander about the woods and see if we can find the lever for the ropeway. At least that would be something. That would be something for us to, you know, go and do and try and complete a little sort of quest off the side here. And yes, of course, we armed our traps with fancy things. So what is in this trap? A tail of some description. Please be antlers. Antlers are the best thing. That was a pelt of some sort, was it? Might have been a pelt of some sort. Right, pick up that stuff whilst we're here. We might as well pick up the uh, guarana plants. We could probably sell them directly to Jenny. That's probably going to be fine. So yeah, we'll grab things as we go. Now, I think on this level, is there anything on this level? It doesn't look like there's any wolves or anything on this level. So let's go a bit deeper. I can't recall if we've done this. I can't remember if we've done this. And if we have done this, why have we not found the lever? Unless we didn't go you know, deep enough into the woods. I'm not really sure. But yeah, we'll keep picking up all the stuff as we go along. I am expecting there to be wildlife around the place. So wolves and such like. But yeah, so go and grab that. There's a wolf. Right, get out. Do you know what I haven't got? Haven't got any uh, anything to, to hit a wolf with because, of course, we took off the headlamp and the um, put the pickaxe away, didn't we? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Do you know what, Mr. Prepper? For somebody called Mr. Prepper, you're not very prepared. I mean, whose fault is that? Entirely yours. Right, let's just... Oh, let's just go home. We'll go home. We'll potter about at home for a bit. It's a bit late to do anything now. <laughs> we'll potter about at home. And then, um, and then yes, we'll come back, uh, go back to the woods the next day. That's what we'll do. In fact, no, do you know what? Let's now go and see Joe. Because now he'll be there because it's late. So there we go. We can go and talk to Joe. At least, yes, we can get one thing done. So yeah, Fort Observer. Joe, what is going on with this? Hi, Joe. I have an important question. Do you know the exact location of the Fort Observer military base? I know it's in the desert somewhere, and nobody knows much about the desert as you. I might know what you're talking about. But you know, buddy, it ain't personal. But I'm not going to give away classified information to someone I barely know. Not in this political climate, that's for sure. But maybe if you lend me a hand here and there, I'll trust you with this. Oh, oh, sad. You don't really think I'm one of the agency guys, right? But fine, I can prove to you I'm trustworthy. I really need to get to that base. Okay, so how do we do that then? How do we secure trust with Joe? I assume by trading. I assume by trading stuff. So yeah, so if we buy stuff off him or sell stuff to him, of course, then yeah, maybe that's maybe that's what he's after. I mean, that axe is pretty tempting. That axe sounds... That's a good weapon to attack things with. Maybe an axe would not be a bad thing to actually get our hands on. Now, it's only 40 monies. 
do you know what? Yeah, we'll, but we'll buy that off you. Hopefully that's good for trust. Okay, it's gone up a little bit. But there we go. We now have ourselves an axe, which is quite useful. So if we put that here... Oh, there we go. We've now got an axe equipped, which is useful. That's a handy thing to have. Okay, thanks, Joe. Uh, how do we come out of the trade thing with you, Joe? There we go. And now, I think, now it's probably time to go home. I don't think we're going to be able to explore the forest properly. So, uh, yeah, let's head home. Let's head home. We'll get our mining helmet back on. We'll get the pickaxe out, <laughs> which we sort of forgot about. They're in here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, look, our things that we really need. In fact, that pickaxe is looking a little bit, a little bit worse for wear. Can we make a pickaxe? Can't quite recall if we can make our own now. Um, no, we can't make our own, unfortunately. We can make a baseball bat, but we've got the axe to hit things with, so that's fine. Um, yeah, okay, do you know what? What we'll do is, we'll get it. Oh, it's not in there. It's not in that one. It's in this one. Um, right, take that out. Oh, there's all the salt. There's all the salt. Um, ah, more bits of waste paper. That's good. We could make a good bit of money from this in a second. Um, and what we'll do is go to here. Let's dismantle the pickaxe. Metal and wood. We'll just go and buy a new one. We'll go and buy a new pickaxe because that one is just falling apart. And um, we will equip... The, oh, not a proper container. Hang on a second. There you go. On your head. That's it. And then go to here because we picked up some stuff, didn't we? So the Huntress can have those two things. That's 25 monies coming our way. And then, what have we got? There we go, waste paper stuff. Another 12 monies coming our way. That is lovely to see. And then, Bob, how much was that book? 160, oh, I've only got 181 monies. But then it would give us better prices. So the earlier we get this, the more money we're going to save in the long run. I think it's worth getting this now. The only thing is, have we got enough for the pickaxe as well? What's that going to be? 160. Where's the pickaxe? 186. No, we haven't got enough for that right now. Never mind. What we'll do is, we'll go to sleep, we'll wake up in the next day, and then we'll go and um, we'll go and buy some stuff from Bob. But right now, yeah, let's just have a nice night's sleep, Mr. Prepper. So that's that done. So yeah, another sort of free day. Nothing going on today, but the day after this is when the water is going to run out. So we might want to try and just stock up on a little bit more water before it all actually becomes unavailable. So yeah, let's start the day by doing that, actually. Let's go over and just grab some water from here, and then we will immediately chuck it down. In fact, no, hang on. Are they going to need some water? Yeah, they need some water anyway. So put some water on that, water there, water there, and then go up to here. Yeah, this is this is good. This is all good. Ah, this is all coming together. Take that. Take the um take the cucumbers. And we will have uh we'll have what do we need to eat? I think we could just have a couple of smoothies actually. That'll get us up to the top. That's quite good. And then let's go to here. Right. That's now arrived. Oh, we missed we missed Harold. Sorry, Harold. Right, take that stuff. There we go. We should now have enough money to then go over to Bob and say, Bob, can I please have a new pickaxe and get ourselves the trading book? 186 money. We've got 218. That's going to be really good for trust with Bob as well. So that's wonderful. That's good. Joe, what are you selling today? Nothing overly exciting. Okie doke. Right. That's all good. Then I think what we can do is go over to here. What did we need to make the, the pickles again? Just salt. We just need some salt now. One bit. Was there that bit in the cupboard or did we use that bit up? We used that bit, but there was some salt in a box somewhere around here. There. Right, we'll take that. And then, yeah, we'll just go and cook up a um, cook up a jar of pickles. And then we're just going to immediately sell them for a ludicrous amount of money. Because for some reason, they're really good <laughs> at, uh, at making a bit of money, which is splendid. So, yeah, we'll go to here. Um, Jenny, you can have the three remaining pickles and also you can just have all those guarana plant things that we found. So that's a bit of money coming in. And um, then, yeah, Gourmet, you want to buy the pickles for 55 monies, which is just very silly. So, yes, have a jar of pickles for a ludicrous amount of cash, please. And there is Harold. Hello, Harold. How are you? Right, great big piles of money coming our way, which is excellent stuff. Uh, this axe I've got, Harold, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> little bit suspicious there. Just an axe I carry around. Uh, can we talk to you? Are you going to say anything? A new series of stamps. Ah, our beloved president is on them. Okay, that sounds 
that sounds wonderful. Thank you for thank you for enlightening me with this uh, this wonderful piece of news. I mean, we might as well equip the pickaxe. We might as well just you know have it on our person right now. So there we go. And we need to read the book. So there we go. Read the art of negotiation, and it normally appears in there. Oh, is it because I've got time paused? Hang on, I paused time there. Hang on, is that now a thing that we've done? Yes. There we go. So better prices are now going to be achieved in trading. I mean, really, I should have possibly waited to do all that trading until I got that book. But never mind. Never mind. All done now. So yeah, things are looking good. So I think, what do we want to do? In fact, you know what? What we do want to do is, let's go and put that book away over here. There we go. Another book. I mean, yeah, I'd like to put a bookshelf ideally and put things on there. But never mind. So now where do we want to go? Hang on. Let's pause time a second. Let's think about what we need to do. Mining past the level four, don't know where that is. Find glasses for Bob, that's unclear. Yeah, repair the ropeway is going to require the lever and 20 metal and 10 plastic. 10 plastic is going to be the tricky bit. So I'm thinking, do we do, do we try and work on this? Do we try and get 10 plastic? Where are we going to get that from? Or do we go and get Joe his foil? Because we saw this last time, didn't we? We saw this previously. We kind of know about this a little bit. So I think what we'll do is, let's go for a drive in the desert, shall we? Let's go and have a quick nap. So get our energy nice and top tub. So get all our stamina up. That's going to be good. And then go and grab a quick bite to eat. Is there water in there? No. Right, so then go run over here quick. Have a very quick bit of food. In fact, can we just eat some of that? Can we just eat some raw corn? Is that going to get us to the top? Yes. Oh, that's very good. And then we have got some food with us as well. I noticed we are carrying around some water now, which is possibly a bit pointless. So yeah, throw that water into there. Very nice. And then go and grab some fuel. Let's go and grab some fuel. I mean, I imagine five fuel is going to be enough, but let's just take all of the fuel anyway, just in case. And then I think we just go for a drive in the desert. Let's actually get that car moving and have a nice desert drive and we'll see what rocks we can crash into today <laughs> because we know it's going to happen. Absolutely, it's going to happen. So let's head over here to our lovely car. Okay, so here is the car. So how does this work now? Because we've got fuel upon our person. So do we now have to add the fuel in? Is it one fuel? Four fuel gets us to that marker point just there. Hang on a minute. What if we split this up and did two and two? So what do we? What does two fuel get us? Right, so each marker thing is four bits of fuel. Okay, that's fine. So if we just go to this first point here and then have a nice, have a nice trip out in the desert, it'll all be fine. I mean, it's a bit weird that we can then also get back. I assume that takes into account the return journey as well. But there we go. The fuel tank is, uh, is fueled enough to get us to the first kind of waypoint out in the desert. And that's all we want to do for the moment. So... Let's go for a drive. Now, yeah, uh, Mr. Prepper is going to drive into some rocks at this point, even though he's got an entire desert to drive in. You know, a desert, which by its very nature is deserted. We are going to crash into things. So here we go. Hold left mouse button or space <laughs> to change the lane. Okay, right. So change the lane. That's fine. So can we do that again? Yep. So right. Avoid the obstacle. Oh, we actually avoided the obstacle there. Well done, Mr. Prepper. Right. Avoid that thing. <laughs> he's doing a bit better today. Right. There's a massive rock thing. I mean, just... Why are you driving on this tiny bit of road when there is a desert that you could drive in, Mr. Prepper? But okay, it's all fine. Right, drive round it. That was a bit close. This is a lovely day out. It's a lovely day out in the desert. Look at it. It's, there's a thing up there and everything. But I'm looking down here at the minute so I don't crash into a massive rock. Okay, sort of crashed a bit into a rock. That's it. You reverse further toward the rock. There we go. So the car has taken a little bit of a little bit of a kicking, but it's fine. Okay, crashed into that rock as well. Mr. Prepper has taken his eye well off the ball. Come on, drive round it, Mr. Prepper. I only want to get to the first location. And you've somehow managed to crash into two things. <laughs> ah, dearie me. An entire desert. A whole desert for him to uh, drive round in. And somehow he's crashed into some rocks. Right, snakes. Yeah, this is fine. We've got an axe now. Choppity chop that snake face. Okay, another snake, right? Okay, kill that thing. And another snake, and chop. This axe is uh, the axe is pretty good. And we're getting snake meat, which is really good. Because that's a nice thing that we can use to make some food. Right, hang on, there's another snake. There's another snake. Kill it, kill it, kill it. And I think that's it. I think the snakes are all gone. And yeah, got a bit of uh, bit of snake meat there. Right, here we go. So it's an abandoned kind of, uh, kind of you know, gas station type thing with various goodies. So we'll pick that up. These are all good things. We'll pick that up. And there is the all-important foil. 
We'll pick that up. But yeah, we've got some soup as well, which is good. Come out of the way. Anything on there. Right. Open this up. So what's in here? Let's have a look. We've got ourselves energy drink. Got money. Got some metal. Useful. The energy drink is also useful. Have a nosy into this machine. Um, oh, that's just an energy drink for some coins. Okay, that's fine. Energy drink is useful. And then there's a bit of fuel. Always very handy. So take that. And behind you is a bit of fuel, I noticed, Mr. Prepper. So there we go. These pumps don't work, unfortunately. I don't think we can go any further this way. Nope, that way is blocked. I think that's it. I think, oh, hang on. No, we can we can get sort of uh, sort of cactus chunks, can't we? And it's not very exciting. But there we go. Bits of cactus. Very exciting. I think that's it. I think that's it. Do you want to get another energy drink? Why don't we just stock up on another one of those? There we go. Another energy drink. Very nice. And we did empty this. We did empty this. Hang on, we can grab that. Hang on, what? We can grab the entire box. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. There's something behind the box. A little hidden soup. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Hurrah for the hidden soup. And I think now that is it. And that box we can put in our bunker and use that for storage. Okay, but more importantly, we've got the foil. So now, let us... Um, ooh... We could repair the car. Have we got metal on us? We normally do a little bit. Oh, yeah, we pick some up, don't we? Um, yeah, okay. Maybe repair the car. Yeah, there you go. With a bit of metal. Just spend some time doing that. Things are looking good in terms of stats. Getting a little bit dark, but okay. And there we go. Right. Now we shall return home. And I don't think we need to do the driving thing again. I think on the way back, he doesn't crash into big rocks. So on the way, the outbound journey is all over the place. On the way home, oh, he's absolutely fine. He takes the smoothest road possible. But okay, here we go. Let's go back to Joe. Joe, I have your foil. Here we go. So let us give you your foil. Head over this way. Woof, woof. Yes, yes. Right, okay. Where is it? There it is. Bit of foil. So give you the foil that you can put on your head. Hey, Joe, I have the tin foil for you. <laughs> oh, shiny. It is, isn't it? Thanks a lot. Hope I'll get my concentration back. By the way, I've repaired your revolver. It's like new. If the agency asks you about it, I know nothing. I have some stuff to do now, but remember to stop by sometimes. Okay, and there you go. Sure thing. Thank you, Joe. So that sorts out one of our missions there, which is good. And we had a nice drive out into the into the desert, which is good. We have picked up quite a few useful bits and bobs as well. So let us head back home. Let's go back home right now because we've got some stuff to sort out. We've got some snake meat to cook and all that kind of exciting stuff. So let's head straight over to here. Can we get some water out as well just for it all goes wrong? Right. Uh, snake meat. Yeah, roasted snake meat. Why not? Cook that up. Seems to be a very straightforward sort of thing. So we'll do that. So let's put the yeah roasted snake meat in and the cactus in as well. There we go. So a couple of things stored away in there. Then we can put... The soup in the uh, soup in there with the energy drinks. That's good. I noticed we have a goal for Joe of just turn up on another day. I wonder if he's going to give us something exciting on another day. But there we go. That's something to something to ponder. Right, the buckets. Uh, hang on, I've paused time. The buckets are not full of water. They're getting full, but this is. So let us just grab some water from here whilst we can, and we will put the water straight into there. Big water storage in there. That's very good. They are, are they ready to harvest? They're ready to harvest again. Oh my goodness me. Right, yeah. Harvest more of those. That's a nice sort of, uh, just a cash generator, that thing is. They're wonderful. Right, so put those into there for now. And then what else have we got upon our person? Hang on, game. Hang on. Pause time for a second. So we've got some green cups that we can disassemble. And yeah, of course, the wooden box. Well, let's put this somewhere. Where can we put this? Nice wooden box. Um. um okay, hang on. Do we not do we not place this somewhere? I thought we'd place this down somewhere. Oh. Are we just supposed to dismantle this? Maybe we can't actually put it somewhere. Oh, okay. Oh, do you know what? We'll go and dismantle it. It's wood. It's fine. It's useful. It keeps the generators going. So uh, yeah, dismantle two green cups, please. So turn those into useful glass. Very nice. And then wooden box. Yeah, disassemble that then. If that's all we can do with it, that is absolutely fine. So take that apart. It takes a long while to take that apart. Good grief. And there we go. And then, in fact, hang on. Hang on. What do we need to upgrade the workbench? What's that? 30 metal and 30 glass. That played that. The red on that blue background plays havoc with my eyes. My goodness me. Yeah. Okay. Maybe at some point we need to um, think about upgrading the workbench as well. But right now, let us go to sleep.
Let's have a lovely, lovely night's sleep. Again, out on the couch. And of course, today is the day that we don't have water. And indeed, tomorrow as well. So yeah, we've got two days of no water now. So there we go. Never mind. So, of course, we've been to sleep. So what we'll do is we will finish up for now. But I think we've done quite a lot of good stuff today. We've done very well. I mean, the big thing is that the silo is in. The silo is in. And now, yeah, look, phase two of building a rocket. We need 60 metal, 20 plastic, and of course, artificial horizon. So this is going to be on our list of missions for ages. I think we need to earn Joe's trust... That's going to be tricky to do. We're going to need to keep buying things off of him, I imagine. Because, yeah, that's uh, that gets trussed up in sort of the trading sense. So maybe we need to do that. But also we do need to just go and have a chat with him. I think this is going to be the next big thing. I think we need to go into the woods. I mean, we did try and go and find the lever, but then we were obviously woefully unprepared. But, uh, yeah, we can go back now because, look, we've got a big choppy axe. So go back, go back to the woods and, you know, fight all the wolves with an axe. That'll be quite good. Go and find that lever. We can get 20 metal, that's fine. I think we might need to go and load up some of the diggy machines, possibly. That'll be quite good over in the mine to get some more materials. But yeah, so go get the go get the lever, get the metal. 10 plastic. Plastic is now proving to be a tricky thing. That's proving to be important. I mean, that needs 20, that needs 10. So yeah, that's harder to come by. So we might try and buy some more plastic in. But yeah, I think that's going to be the next big thing. Go and do this, and then go and do this air crash investigation thing. That's going to be quite important as well. So there we go. That's what we'll try and get on with next time out. As well as, of course, all the other bits and bobs. You know, cooking the food and, you know, surviving the inspections and all that kind of stuff. But yes, we shall do all that next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very, very lovely indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Mr. Prepper. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's hard. But this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no, 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 no! It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. Who's examining who? <laughs>